based on a lot of evidence on thousands of papers that a plant-based diet is in the long run really really the best one to be on short term what what you can do if you want to eat a lot of meat and i like meat so you know i i, I wish meat was was super healthy it just turns out it isn't but in the short run you're putting your body in this state of um, abundance right remember you got abundance versus adversity a lot of meat and fat will give you this abundance so you you'll feel good short, short term and you'll probably grow muscle better but long term it's not because you want to be in this adversity mimic state so practically speaking i've been looking at a number of foods that protect against cancer as really strong results there if you take the blood of people who have been on a plant based diet and put it on cancer cells it can 4000% more kill those cancer cells than someone who eats a, a meat based diet so those are really compelling and those that are on uh, vegan vegetarian and pescatarian diets in general live longer and are protected from about 15 different major diseases i i mean the science is there it's uh, it's not really an argument uh at this point uh so what i've been doing personally is i've been eating a lot more uh nuts uh vegetables my fridge is now full of plant based foods and that the 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 shock to me was how easy it was uh i basically in one day said okay i'm not eating meat anymore and i haven't for the most part i mean maybe a couple of times socially uh and that's important to note you know i'm i'm not as 100% strict occasionally I'll break it for for reasons you know that that I'm human and I don't mind it's not going to hurt me but overall most of my food now is vegetable uh, and plant based and I've also cut out dairy because it turns out that the benefits against cancer of a plant based diet can be somewhat negated by including dairy yeah so what we've discovered actually is that that the plants make their own survival molecules to turn on their own survival genes and they also have mTOR and AMPK and sirtuins the same in our bodies and those same chemicals we've discovered when you eat them can activate our own survival longevity pathways and so we can get these benefits from plants and it's my belief and there's a lot of evidence now that the benefits you get from plants by eating broccoli uh, cruciferous vegetables tomatoes green tea these are primarily through xenohormesis mechanisms turning on our body's natural defenses and not so much antioxidant activity and one of the main reasons is well there's two main reasons one is that antioxidants don't really have a big effect on lifespan and longevity and health in general um and that these plant molecules like ecgc from uh, from matcha tea and green tea and resveratrol from red wine just it seems coincidental but it's not coincidental they hit just the right pathways or the genes in the body to promote longevity and long-term health and that re- requires an explanation and it's not just simply antioxidants.